And what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Billy Mac. Back again. Another mycology for you. Um, As y'all can see by the thumbnail, yeah. What are you bringing to the table as a female? Let me adjust my mic because this, this is going to get heavy. What are you... What are you bringing to the table? A lot of females get upset when they hear this um, this phrasing from men. But here's what y'all have to understand. First of all, first of all, trying to get on the camera, trying to get on the camera. First of all. hair coming out, y'all, I'm stressed. Um, we're not talking about all females, okay? Let me make that clear. We're not talking about all females. We're not. What you ladies have to understand, first of all, okay, let me break this down. I, I was trying to make this a short video. But it might not get there, okay? Because y'all know how I do. First of all, we're living, we, we're living in a time where feminism is taking over, which is fine. Y'all want equality? I want equality too. Another mycology video coming on that. Because I don't think y'all really know what equality really means. That's number one. Number two, because of feminism, we now have what is known as the modern female. Okay? The boss bitch. The, the, she, she got her own. Um, what, what did Neo say? I love her because she got her own. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? And we respect it, ladies. Y'all want to make y'all own money? Y'all want to get educated? Y'all want to come out here and do y'all own thing and compete with us? By all means, we welcome the challenge. But with that comes consequences. And when a man is asking a female what she brings to the table, what we have, what we as men have essentially done is respect how the game has changed. In what way? This is how. Because y'all are modern women, y'all are making your own money, y'all are doing your own things. You all have standards. Women have had standards since the beginning of time. And I'm not counting, I'm not counting the fact how arranged marriages were back in the day. We're not even, we're not going through that. But even, but if you look at history, look at the fairy, look at all the fairy tales that were told. Look at Cinderella. Cinderella was a low life, for lack of a better word. She was a low life, but she was bad. And because of her fairy godmother, she was able to get a prince. She, but and but here's the kicker: she was a low life, and she wanted the prince. She didn't want some regular dude. She she didn't want some blue collar working man. No, she was a low life and she wanted the prince. That's the point, ladies. We understand. Every man understands that y'all want top tier, top rank type of dude. We know this. We as men know this. But here's the problem. You all, y'all modern women want traditional men. It does not work like that. So that's why these men are saying, what are you bringing to the table? Yes, you make money. Yes, you a boss bitch. But what else can you do? What makes you more special then the hoe down the street who can put it down in the bedroom, who's not going to argue and be combative, who's going to do everything I ask her to do with no questions asked. What are you bringing to the table, ladies? And like I said, I get it. 
Y'all doing your own thing and y'all deserve everything that y'all get. But that is what a modern woman is. That is that is quintessentially the definition. Y'all are not stay at home moms. Y'all are not homemakers anymore. And that's fine. I'm not compl- I'm not complaining about that. But the fact of the matter is, guess what? Us men have remained traditional. We have remained traditional. Y'all are the ones that have changed the game. So therefore, we are changing. We have to adjust to the game. And the new game is that y'all females who are boss bitches, who are out here doing your thing, CEOs, business owners, y'all have therefore, because y'all are those things, y'all lack in other places, especially when it comes to wifey material. Now, let me repeat what I said at the very beginning of this video. That's not all of you. We as men understand there are a small percentage, maybe even a handful, a percentage of women who are still traditional, who are still feminine, who are not combative, and are even boss bitches and, and CEOs and business owners. We understand that there are a small handful of women who fit that criteria and therefore that's why we're weeding y'all out by asking the simple question what do you bring to the table now if you as a modern day female are offended not offended offended when a man asks you what you bring to the table i want you to just please get out of your feelings and stop feeling selfish for one hot second and think to yourself, there is an obvious reason this man is asking me this question and it ain't got nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with the other females that quite frankly said that tried to be special, that tried to be different and they really weren't. What, what sets you apart from these other females at you? I'm giving y'all game right now. I'm giving y'all game and y'all better, y'all better respect it and take heed. What makes y'all different? What makes you different than these other females out here? Figure it out. What do you bring? What do you bring that no other female is going to bring to this man? Cuz mind you, you're not you're not going to talk to a bum. You're not going to allow a bum to get you. Let's just let's just be real. A dude that ain't doing nothing with his life, a dude that's not making money, y'all a dude that's out of shape and and fat. Y'all are not y'all are not giving him any play. Let's just be real. Y'all not giving him any play. So we have we as men are already bringing just about everything to the table. Now, ladies, <laughs> if you do meet a guy who ain't about nothing and he has the nerve, the audacity to ask you what you bring to the table, please call him out on his bullshit. Please, because he's making niggas like us look bad. He's making a he's making us men look bad. So please call him out on that. I apologize for the shaky camera. I'm a little passionate about this. But ladies, understand on a serious note, please understand. When a man asks you what you bring to the table, it's because there's a lot of females that are just like you. And we as a man want to, especially if we're going to wife you, especially if we're going to put you on the wheel, especially if we're going to lead, especially if we're going to have children by you. Like, yeah, what makes you different from these other females? Because there's a whole lot of bad bitches out here. But there's there's a small percentage of high value men. And I really don't even like that word. I. I, I don't I don't like the word high value man. I really don't. Because because 
It's subjective. What one woman deals as high value is low value to another woman. And what to another woman, what is high value is low value to another woman. There, most of y'all women like monogamy. Y'all want a man who's monogamous. Guess what, ladies? Most men are not monogamous. So it's like, do you lower your standards for a monogamous man? So, so he's monogamous. He makes decent amount of money. He's a little bit attractive. And he got a little bit of a beer belly. But he's monogamous. No. Y'all want six feet. He need to make six figures. And he need to have six inches. And he need to be monogamous. Ladies, make this make sense. He's the same guy that 90% of females want. He has options. You don't. That man you just described is minuscule. It's a small percentage. There are more of you than there are of him. So now that we're there with the information, what makes you different from the from these other females out here trying to get this same man? What makes you different? I'm just, what makes you different? I just, I mean, and therefore, what are you bringing to the table? And for all y'all females, I am the table. Okay, that's nice. Nobody cares. We don't, we don't care. Ladies, I'm giving y'all, I'm giving y'all game right now. Stop thinking about the money you make. Stop thinking about how you got your own this and that. And, and the biggest lie in the entire world, I, I want to build with the man. I want us to be a, a power couple. That A power couple is the most dangerous thing two people can be. Because nine times out of ten, what's going to end up happening is... The woman's going to revert back to her traditional self and the man's going to be like, no, the hell you can't. You said we were going to build together. You have yours and I have mine and we're going to build this together as a team. So be careful, ladies, what you say, because a lot of y'all, what y'all don't understand, a real high value man listens. He listens. And a lot of y'all females out here contradicting y'all selves and being straight up hypocrites. I said a lot of y'all. I didn't say all of y'all. A lot of y'all out here contradicting and being hypocritical like a mug. Soon, soon as you get that man, you're going to be like, okay, he got, he got it. He got it. And I'm like I said, a lot of y'all, not all of y'all, there's some of y'all out here who genuinely want to be with a man who you can can build up, you know, build with together and, and maintain that con togetherness. I truly believe that. But understand, that is, that is the minority, is not the majority. So, as I close this out, Ladies, please do not get offended when a man asks you what you bring to the table. He's asking you that because nine times out of ten, he's got several females that ain't bringing nothing to the table. What makes you special? What makes you different from these other females? Because he knows his value. He knows what he brings to the table. And it's everything that you want in a man. So when he gives you, and nine times out of 10, just ask. A man worth his salt, if you just ask him, what do you need me to bring to the table? I just gave y'all some game right there. Ladies, when a man asks you that, don't get offended. Ask him, what do you need me to bring to the table? I guarantee you, a real man worth his salt, 
He's going to tell you exactly what he needs you to do. And the question is, are you going to do that? Are you going to do that? And every man is different. Because I know somebody like me, I don't ask for much. I don't ask for much. Can you, it, I, it's like, it, in fact, here's some other game, and then I'm gone for real because I got to go. A real man worth his salt has four to seven things that he needs for you. Four to seven, no more, no less. If he's a real man, he has four. Four to seven things that he needs you to bring to the table. And if if he has less than three, if he has less than four, that means he has several women who are who are handling everything for him. That means he only needs you for a couple of things because he got other women doing those other things. And if he has more than seven, he needy as hell. Run, run and run away. That means he's needy and he's never going to be satisfied. And you're going to you're going to get dog tired trying to trying to make him happy. A real man worth his salt only needs you to do. And and when I say he only needs you to do four to seven things, I mean, there are four to seven things that he needs consistency on. Like he needs you to be on top of it. Don't get me wrong. In a relationship, there are things Both parties, men and women, there are things he's going to ask you to do throughout the relationship. There are things a woman is going to ask a man to do. Those those are just as they come through the relationship. But bar none, by and large, I mean, there are four to seven things that he's going to be like, yo, you slacking in this area. I need you to come with it. Are you going to come with it, ladies? All right. I just dropped I just dropped two or three gems on this. Y'all better come with it. And do not be offended when a man asks you what you bring to the table. Ask him, what do you need me to bring? And if and if he can't tell you, that means he's not where he needs to be in life. I'm going to tell you that right now. He is not where he needs to be in life. And if he can't tell you, that that red flag, red flag. All right, ladies. So I got to go. Please like, subscribe, share the video. Um, Yeah, like, subscribe, share the video. It's your boy, Billy Mac, and I'll holler at you next time.